Hey, this is Jason with WBO Designs. We're on the road, uh, 2011 here, uh, visiting Calusa Casino. And some of the employees, the construction workers here, have a, a side project. They started a, a biodiesel refinery. Um, they're taking waste cotton seed meant for animals and pressing it, cleaning it with our centrifuge, and producing biodiesel for use in the vehicles um, on the resort here. I can't believe what a electric. Yeah, we were a bubble of a I got a single thing. Get it. It was going to put me way past budget, too, you know, because I had everything so tightly allocated. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Let's see how you got there. Oh, can you check all the Okay, let's. Uh, okay, so I just undo. Uh, so watch this, Jason. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. Pull that out. And I lift this out. So it's the end of the day. I just turn this upside down. And it's the perfect design to sit on top of a five gallon bucket. Where all the oil drains out in the morning after the temperature changes, like taking out a cake from a baker's pan. I just take that little uh, white spatula there and cleans out in less than five minutes I have it perfectly clean. So you can do about 200 gallons without having to clean? Right, right. So here you can take a look in there. What it looks like coming out of the centrifuge. And I've run um, 100 gallons there all day huh? yeah and the, the bowl's only not even a half an inch thick so it, it could who knows it could probably go at 24 hours all the system could run for 24 hours yeah. this <laughs> saved us a lot of nightmare we would have had to have big settling tanks yeah and then you've got to clean these big tanks out after a while so you, so you, need, to, you need to let that 10 percent of plant waste settle that's the only way and it takes two weeks yeah that takes it out okay. it takes it out that's instantly right. i tried my five micron socks no difference it didn't take it out at all it didn't take this stuff out. no it did not take it out huh. under heat ran it through several times through these five micron they're hayward socks to use huh. in water treatment and huh. nothing pumping it through recirculating it maybe they're in the angstroms you know that they could get it out That's obviously right, the filters. but right. yeah the filter is a huge problem but yeah changing I mean, filters constantly changing filters yeah and it seems like it's more of a really fine powder that I mean it's almost yeah this like a dye <laughs> actually so by tomorrow this will there. be this will be almost dry but I'm sure there's a some other use for this you know this is a yeah see if it'll burn <laughs> right I have two options with this 
It can go right into the reactor from here if I'm in a hurry and need to process it, or it goes over to here. This gravity is over to here to an oil dryer. And you settle it. And what it's doing, if there's any moisture in it, but there hasn't been, I have a stirring prop in there and these heat exchanger coils. I'll explain those in a minute. Okay. And then from here, if you go into this process, and I can do a first stage reaction, a biodiesel reaction in this thing, and up my capacity, because the actual biodiesel reaction only takes two hours. This process takes six hours. So without doing this, I can do easily 100 gallons a day. Doing this, I can easily do 200 gallons in an eight-hour day by having this pre-stage here and just using that reactor just for the final stage. A little toxic because it's got methanol in it and sulfuric acid. And yeah. not much, just eight gallons of, in 100 gallons of, that, of oil, it'll have eight gallons of methanol and 380 milliliters, about 1.6 cups of sulfuric acid. About 75 feet of coil inside okay. there. It's a PEX pipe. And they're connected to these recirculating pumps that have thermostats on them. Yeah. The uh, sun focuses out there on that. There's a heat exchanger built in there, so water's being circulated through that. So on the average, it does 250 gallons at 180 degrees a day. Anyway, that's being stirred in there, doing its reaction. And then it gets transferred by this pump back over here to this reactor, where it only takes two hours now to turn it into biodiesel. All I'm doing, all we're doing is taking out the real heavy alcohol, glycerol, glycerin, and replacing it with methanol or ethanol, which is really light alcohol, so it has the same viscosity as, as diesel does. That's all that's going on. I'm using a catalyst to help break that chain, break the, the glycerin chain. Okay, before using the centrifuge, just using, just using unclarified oil, after it comes out of the press, um, with a weak settle even a week, but uh, still there's a lot of gums in there, a lot of plant resins and waxes. Um, when, I would do, when I do a healthy reaction, I should have about 20 gallons. I've got this filled with oil right now, so you can't see the gummy oil. I put 20 gallons of, of catalyst and alcohol in here, so I should get out 20 gallons of glycerin when I'm all done. That's how right. it works. Um, but I was getting, before the centrifuge, I was getting about 30 gallons instead of 20 gallons, I had an extra 10 gallons of plant matter that was, uh, let me turn this pump up, that was in the oil. So now with the centrifuge, I can instantly make a, a reaction with it. So does it react faster or just more completely? It just more completely. Now I'm... I put 100 gallons in, I get 100 gallons of biodiesel out. Before I was putting 100 gallons of oil in, and I was getting 90 mm. gallons of biodiesel out. Right. Because there's an extra 10 gallons of plant resin. This is the heavy alcohol, the glycerol, that we pull out of the oil and replace it with a light alcohol like methanol or ethanol. And then, um, yeah. and it's got a lot of extra methanol left in it. And some, again, some catalyst, some, some sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide is the one you use. And it gets pulled into here, and again, it gets, it goes into a vacuum chamber, and it gets evaporated at a low temperature. This, the methanol gets boiled off, and I end up recovering off of a 100-gallon batch is, um, all told, I recover about five gallons of methanol, a little more than five gallons of dirty methanol, 95%. So I'm saving that. That methanol, it comes out clear and bright, you know, as an alcohol would. I store that in this methanol condensate drum. Here's, here's what comes out. Yeah, this is glycerin. It's non-toxic, biodegradable. This is soap. And we actually use it to wash our hands with here at the shop. But it's, Now, it's normally not, it's not this dark. It's the cotton seed. Yeah. Okay. Here, here. And in return, they make biodiesel in return. They give their customers, they do a curbside pickup of the oil, and in return they give them back soap. And they make soap out of it. To me it kind of smells like but you can see the lather, seawater or something. And, uh, yeah. You know, something that we need to work on. And yeah. It needs After I've taken out the glycerin, which just gets drained out, it's real heavy, so it, it settles out. And I pump it up into there. 
So I can start another reaction. That's it. You see all these extra tanks? It's only to speed the process up. Yeah. Right. So it goes up to there, then it gets filtered. This raw biofuel gets filtered. There's extra methanol in there and um, some catalyst and a tiny bit of water and maybe even a little bit of glycerin. So it goes through this filter system. It extracts out the any extra methanol and any of the soaps or catalysts left over in these filters. And this does it under a vacuum and low temperature heat. It's just evaporating the, the methanol out. So I get to recapture that, what they call dirty methanol. It's got, it's only 95% pure. It's got water, 5% water in it. So I store that. Anyway, this this purified biodiesel now meeting ASTM grade standard, uh, government specs, gets pumped over here into these holding tanks temporarily. Uh, you can see the address is on. Or, uh, cotton seed. Cotton seed. Yeah. Which comes out red, just bright red as an oil. Yeah, when we first see it, we go, oh my goodness, our diesel's gonna look like diet diesel. <laughs> you know, off road diesel.